From shootings to stabbings to aggravated assaults, violent crime is on the rise in Harris County. County health officials are now helping patients who were injured in these incidents through their hospital violence interruption program at Ben Taub Hospital. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner joins us live with how the program is already breaking the cycle of violence. Rochelle. Keith, last year the program started in Cypress and Sunnyside. Outreach specialists were able to stop at least 12 shootings and likely prevented other cases. With help from county leaders, Bentop Hospital launched a violence interruption program aimed to help survivors. The program is already operating successfully within the HCA Northwest Hospital. Since November, the program has served 39 patients and prevented at least two retaliation or re-injuries. Not only was there a steady increase um, in victims of violent trauma, but we were noticing an increase in recidivism. And so those are patients that were coming back up to four times because they were survivors of some violent trauma. Bentop Hospital is a level one trauma center. In 2021, Bentop treated nearly 700 gunshot victims. Harris Health spent $45 million treating gunshot victims from June 2021 to May of 2022. Harris County Commissioner Rodney Ellis says violence interpreters will help victims focus on getting over the trauma instead of getting even. So they come up with wraparound services. They bring in credible messengers, people who may be from that community or who are familiar with dealing with people in that situation establish a relationship, a bond, some trust. Let them know about housing services, mental health services, health services. Officials are hoping to break the cycle of violence. It is so important to disrupt repeat instances of violence, but also it's really important to change the life trajectory of the individuals that we're working with. And officials are hoping to collect and analyze data from this program to see how it can be used at hospitals in the state and across the country. Reporting live from the Medical Center, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.